You know what? It's big box time. This is a model from NZG and it's the Liebherr R9600 Backhoe. There's no need to weigh the box because it says on it that it's 8.5 kilograms. And so we can launch straight in with some knife work and then we see some fancy bubble wrap and with some careful logistics handling we can get out the model box. There's a nice photo on the box of the real machine but it only takes up a small part of the picture. And if we look at one end of the box, we see that this model is made by NZG and it's model number 1050. Yes, this is the Liebherr R9600 mining excavator. Once again, more fancy logistics handling is required. And then we have two large expanded polystyrene trays. And on the bottom, we can see there's a twist tie used to secure the model during shipping, so we best undo that. And then the knife gets a full shift of work cutting the tape that seals the two trays together. Off with the lid and we get to see our first look at the model and then two giant hand cranes go to work and lift the model out. There's one more piece of packaging to remove and that's a twist tie which secures the access steps. No assembly to do, complete out the box, but there is an Allen key also in the box. Onto the wave ridge with this big chunk of metal. And it comes in at nearly 13 pounds, which is just about 5.8 kilograms. Looking underneath and there's a plastic base plate on the undercarriage. And there's some more detailing on the underside of the body. Moving on to the metal track pads and they are substantial and they are pinned. It is all suitably massive and the large drive sprocket has the Liebherr name on it. A tiny detail which is a revelation for a metal casting is the Liebherr name which is embossed on the ends of the track pads. The track frames reflect the original, there are lifting eyes but they don't have holes. And moving on to the large cab, there are lights and a windscreen wiper and two seats are visible inside. The cab is metal with a beacon light on top and the louvres on the side window look good too. There are metal handrails and there's an air horn at the front of the landing. And an interesting detail on the model is the mesh flooring. It has very fine and realistic apertures so it is see-through. Below the cab at the front there is a light box with a grill. And the graphics on the model are very sharp. Moving on behind the cab and there is fire suppression equipment. And on this side of the model there are impressive grills to the engine compartment. And there are textured surfaces with more mesh walkways. At the back the counterweight looks great with the Liebherr name raised from the surface. And at the top there are light clusters with beacon lights. Moving to the other side of the model and there are a whole series of grills. And the engine bay panels are finely detailed. That includes the black highlighting and also the very finely modelled hinges. At the front the hefty structure is modelled well. And you can see the two large slewing motors. Moving up on top of the machine and there's a wealth of detail. And you can see the two large circular mesh grills. There are separate boxes and exhausts above each of the engines. And the exhaust pipes have reasonable representations of holes. At the back there's more fire suppression equipment. Towards the boom there's a large array of flexible hose connections. And a particular highlight at the front of the model is more mesh grills. And you can just see the fans modelled below. Moving on towards the boom and there are plenty of metal handrails. And there's a mass of hydraulic hoses and pipework. And these all combine together to give the model a very realistic appearance. The hydraulics continue over the joint with the stick. And all of the connection plates look very realistic too. There are hydraulic pipes running on the hydraulic rams. And the connections onto the big bucket look impressive. Some of the other modelled connections are very discreet. The big metal bucket has impressively highlighted teeth. And there's some nice detailing in the side of the casting too. With more detailing on the underside.
back we go underneath the machine again and the big heavy metal tracks roll very easily. They are spring loaded onto the idler and there's a full set of rollers on the track frame both along the bottom and also three along the top. Out on the test track they roll quite nicely. Another feature of the model is the rotation and it's super smooth and you could have endless fun just twirling the model around. To get to the cab there's a stairway and on the model that also lowers just like the real one and it makes good contact with the ground. On the machine the movement of the stairway is controlled by hydraulics. But if you need to get out in an emergency there's an emergency ladder and that is segmented and it nicely folds down on the model. You may remember there's an allen key with the model and here it is and it's used on some grub screws. The screws are used to lock the extension of the main boom ram and they work okay bearing in mind that the ram jackets are plastic. So let's get on and see how the boom stick and bucket move and you can set the friction to hold a pose on the main rams but you'd probably want to tighten it if you leave it that way. It's difficult to get the boom up as high as the real machine can reach and it's also difficult to fully close up the stick cylinders. The movement of the bucket seems very good with a wide range and again all of these rams are stiff so they should be able to hold a pose. This is a backhoe so normally it would sit up on a bench and to simulate that we'll hoik the model up and bring in a bench which is one of the trays from the model box. That then gives us the chance to investigate the depth of dig and on the review model lowering the boom was really tough but with care you can get it down to a decent depth. With that said you can load up a mining dump truck. This is a massive model so let's do a dim check and from end to end you're looking at about 17 and a half inches or about 45 centimeters. In terms of height in the resting pose it's about 9 inches or 23 centimeters. This is a massive model of the Liebherr R9600. NZG's trademark use of high metal content gives it an extraordinary weight and at the same time there are very many nice details and certainly most of the functionality works well enough. It looks hugely impressive when posed with other mining models and if you like these big machines this model is excellent. Music 